Most people in America are familiar with the Freedom of Information Act. The Freedom of Information Act is something that people in the political marketplace, people in society, want to keep in place because it implies that politicians and other people in leadership positions have the requirement upon them to be authentic, credible, and transparent. A concept that David McNally and his crew sort of put together in the overall general practice and profession of brand management. The reality is that most of us do appreciate that, but there's a handful of us who've been around maybe a little bit more than other people who feel that at the same time there has to be a privacy of records. You see, when we had presidents of old in the White House before we had all this news and social media all around us, we had the understanding that the American president had access to information that the regular common person did not. For the very reason of needing to protect our borders and protect our people from wars, both internal and external. There is no right in America in truth for a total stranger to have access to your medical records. There is a problem in continuity of care that is coming down the pike in which people who work in a clinic or serve in a major corporate hospital are actually abusing our privacy rights. I have been long an opponent of the concept they've been marketing and branding for their hospitals about continuity of care. The continuity of care programs assume that all their people deserve and need to know information about you, so that you can in theory be better served by different shift people. You see, in the olden days what would happen is a nurse would come on duty, she would talk to her fellow nurse, and that fellow nurse would understand what was going on at that moment of time with the patient in a room or a patient long ago in a bed before we had these privatized rooms. The reality is also that a person who was openly accepted lawfully and sometimes not as a part of a person's actual biological or bloodline family could find out information about the patient in a room or in a bed because people want to know what to pray for and people want to know whether they should be staying more and people want to know whether they should be trying to do things more with their family member who might be ill.